Hello everyone, this is Hero Atlania. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. Previously, Link made his way back up Death Mountain and gained access to the Goron Mines, the second dungeon in this game, and this game's Fire Temple. Hello, Midna. Is this a mine or a volcano? You mean to tell me the Gorons come in and out of this place like it's no big deal? You're just a measly human. If you fall into that lava, that's the end of it, so be careful. Thanks for the optimism, Midna. And Link has the Hylian Shield from the shop in Kakariko Village. It'll stand up to the fire in this place a lot better than the Ordon Shield. Now look out for the lava geysers. They really hurt. Open sesame! Now to take care of that fire geyser, we'll have to put on the iron boots and stand on the switch. That thing stays off for a short time only, so be careful. Another switch to turn off another fire jet. A quick U-turn, and look out for the Watcher and the Lava. Hello there. And bye-bye. We'll climb this ladder. And here's a Fire Slug. Bye-bye, Fire Slug. There's a chest up here. Containing a red rupee. Worth 20. That is on this eastern platform. Now we shall hang a left. Hop over to the western side. There's another fire jet ahead. But before we turn it off, we'll take care of this fire slug so it doesn't ruin our day. There's another fire slug here near the switch. So we'll turn that jet off, then run like the wind. We are clear. Now we'll hop onto this platform and lower it with the iron boots. That opens up the northern gate. And we may now head north. Ah, uh, that is the Goron Ruby motif from Ocarina of Time. We seem to have reached a primary room here. Are those magnetic cranes by any chance? Very interesting. They may come in useful. We'll hang a right first and go down these ramps. Finish him! How dare you! Ah, thank you for the heart. Here is a chest containing a small key. This will open a locked door, but only in this area right here on this southeast platform. Alrighty. Now we shall make our way to the west. Be on the lookout for these rotating platforms. And then we'll go through this locked door. We have some more lava geysers. And a Dodongo.
Bye bye, Dodongo. So we have to look out for more lava geysers. And another Dodongo. So long, Dodongo. And I see another ahead of us. Bye-bye. Now we have to slide that wall out. So we can get past. However, when we let go of the chain, the wall will start to go back in. So, we'll have to time this carefully. I want to time it for when the geysers start to go back down. So we have time to get across. And through. Look out for those spikes. And we continue west. Here's a much cooler room. With a pool of water. And we have some magnetic deposits over there. Very interesting. So, time for a dip. We'll sink to the bottom with the boots. And then get onto this switch. Activating a magnetic field pulling us out of the water. Alrighty. Now we can proceed through. Well, this is an elderly looking Goron. Hello, sir. Ah, I thought I felt a presence, but what a surprise to find a young human. Word has come to me of you, and if Gore Koran has faith in you, then your heart must be true. I am one of the four Goron elders. Goramoto is my name. Hello, Goramoto. You are heroic, young human. Please, you must lend this tribe your power. You got a key shard. You need all three key shards to return the big key to its original shape. That is one of the key shards that, when merged together, form the key to the room where Darbus is being held. He is our patriarch. The key is split into three pieces. Each of us elders keeps a piece. You must hurry to the other elders. Aye, aye, sir. To get the object time after, we're going to need to collect all the key shards the Goron elders have. We have to hurry and find the other two. Aye, aye, Midna. The other two elders are at altars in the mine. They are praying. Collect all three key shards and save our tribe's patriarch. He suffers under the power of evil. Will do, sir. And behind him we find another chest... ...containing the dungeon map. So we have the dungeon map. Good sized dungeon. And we have one of three key shards. So what is up here? A red rupee. Alrighty. Now to climb this ladder. Oh, here's a moving pot. Hello, Uku. Phew! Free at last! 
Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Likewise, Uku. Well, now that we've found each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. And we've reunited with Uku. Nice to see you again, Mizuku. Right up here. Now to go out the upper level. And we're above the pool below. We'll have to climb about on these magnetic deposits. And be careful of the lava slug. There is only one on this wall, which is why I went this way. Through to the east now. And we have a suspicious switch. And we get sucked up. We'll head to the north first. We can find a treasure in the northeast. Bye bye, lava slug. And goodbye to you. Actually, I think they're fire slugs, but no big deal. And here's our chest. You got a piece of heart. Collect three more for another full heart container. So, that is on this northeast ledge. And that makes it heart piece number seven. Now to clomp around a bit. Now we get to make our way around. Hello there, fire slug. Get out of here. There's another. Bye bye. Adios to you. Bye bye. And we're aiming for this platform here in the east with the torches. We can hop off now and go through this door. Back to this main room. It appears we can now get to the central platform and hit that switch. Very helpful camera. We also have fire keys here. Oh, hello. Finish him! Yeah. 
Bye bye. Stick him where the sun don't shine. So long. Now to put our boots on. And step on this switch. This causes the crane containing the magnetic deposits to rotate around. It makes three stops for us. Down near the beginning, over here, and up to the north. Time to take a ride. Delightful. Now let's prepare a surprise for these guys and that keys. Yep. Face to right way, Link. Bye bye. Now for another switch for another crane. Sucking us up. And here's another guy. Link for the finish. Now through this door. We'll find a larger pool with some tektites. Bye bye, Tech Tights. So, first, we'll go down and check out this chest. This chest contains a small key at this point in the pool. Be careful not to stay under too long, or Link will drown. We'll head southwest now. And to get into this cage, we'll have to move that block aside. Catch a breath, and we'll go under again. Alrighty. Another magnetic field waiting to be activated. Alrighty, Link. Time for some magnetic attraction. That takes us up here to activate another magnetic field. That one's a little tricky. We'll have to jump into it from this platform, running straight, then putting the boots on. Allowing us to clump up here. There's a chest up here. Containing a red rupee. Finding a few of those. And we have a crystal switch. Smack it with the sword to open that gate. It only stays open a short time, though, so go right through. And say hello to our welcoming committee. Aren't they accommodating? 
Look out for those Bemos. We'll climb up the western wall instead. First, we'll head to the southwestern platform. Because we'll find a chest up here. And this chest contains a piece of heart. Collect two more for another full heart container. And that is right here. So that is heart piece number eight. Now we shall go up the other side. To the northeast. To the northwest, I should say. Here we are. And look at this rope. We might want to cut it. This lowers a drawbridge for us. Alrighty. Now we can go through another locked door. And we have some catwalks here, guarded by Bakalbin archers. What a warm reception. I think I'll receive them in the next episode. For now, I'll use Uku to beam out. Oh goodness, you say you want to go outside? Yes, warp me out. Well then, I'll be waiting right here. Off with you. Goodbye, Uku, and thank you. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring the Goron Mines. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. <laughs>